Hi, I'm Carol Berkman and welcome to my YouTube channel. I do acrylic pour paintings on this channel. I do other paintings as well, but this YouTube channel is specifically for acrylic pour paintings. Please watch, you might find it very informative and fun. And if you like what you see, give me a like, share it, and subscribe, it's free. Hi, Carol Berkeley with Carol's Art Creations. So I haven't poured for a few days. I um, been painting this. It's one of those things where you stop and you start. And I don't record when I paint traditional paintings just because it takes forever and uh, it's way too boring to watch that much hours of how I got here. Anyway, tonight I'm going to pour over this one and I had cleaned it to get this, I think it was the hair serum off of it. And then I rubbed it with alcohol and then I discovered, if you turn it this way, you could see this little guy. Here's his eye, the nose, the head, and like the tail. It looks like there's a smaller little baby one. So I thought that was neat. So I haven't poured over it because I thought that was cool looking. But I really don't like this one. Oops, sorry about that. I had named it Unexpected Surprise, which it was. But I'm gonna pour over this one tonight. <clears throat> so tune in and we'll get started. Okay, so I showed you this little creature in here pretty cool but I really don't like the painting overall. You see I have played around with doing a gesso of a canvas. So, it's kind of dry so I'm going to go ahead and use this dirty puppy pad. So anyway I've got my white that I'm going to put down and then I'm just going to pour some colors and I'll go over my colors as I pour them. So I'm going to put this base coat down and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, I think we're back on the air. Oh yeah, I had to look at the screen, make sure it's actually recording. So I put some white down around the edge of the corners and into here. What I'm gonna do <clears throat> is I'm going to pour down some black in the center. that much. Then I'm going to take my cup and I'm just going to load it up with some colors. I kind of hate to put the white next to the black. So maybe I will put the blue in first. Now this blue, it does have some silicone oil in it and it's the Artist Loft silicone oil. Oops, can't read that. Oops, but only about two drops. Kind of questioning whether I should have put that black down. I should have probably put more white and then black later. Oh well, I guess I'll let it ride. I think I'm just going to make this a dirty cup pour, or just pour the paints in. <clears throat> this is a fire red color, and I had a little bit of copper, which was the Deco Art uh, Metallics. So I just mixed it up because I want to use up my paints. This does not have silicone oil. But the metallic usually has a uh, cell making properties. Now I'm going to do some of the purple. This is the violet. It's the Saks True Flow Heavy Body Paints. <clears throat> 
and I am gonna. It has uh, two drops of the silicone oil. And I'm just pouring in a pot. It's called a dirty cup pour. And now my gold. This is the Americana Decor 24 karat gold metallic. It is a little bit thicker. I've always been told that the metallics needs to be. Good. That is sinking, which is good. These paints are a little bit old. They're probably about two weeks old. And I do agree with Jilly Cube in Queensland, Australia. I do like mixing up my paints at least one day before. So that does give them time to sit and, you know, just kind of exchange chemicals. Much like potato salad, you make it up and let it sit overnight and it tastes better. Okay, let's see how many ounces I've got just shy of a cup so I'm probably going to have some negative space I'm just going to pour this down right into the black and we'll see what we get I don't know that I caught that drip that well I didn't I can see Let's blend that in a bit. Going to get a lot of cell action, I can see. And I am going to pour the rest of this white around. I'm letting that paint sit a bit. It's the same potato salad theory. Let it sit. Give cells chance to come up on their own. See what develops. Oh my. This paint is a house paint. It's a satin. So that satins usually have that cloud making material in them. Give that billowy cloud effect. I can see the purple. I hope this is beautiful. The other one was just odd looking. It was like the center didn't match the rest of it. And I may wind up with a little negative space on this one, which is okay. So the question becomes, do you torch now or stretch it and torch later? It can be done either way. Given that I've got silicone oil in it, I think I'm going to tilt first and then uh, deal with the rest later. Well, I've still got some stuff in my cup. 
I got some kind of clumpiness in there, so good thing I didn't pour it. Okay, so I'm gonna get to tilting. Have me a little drink of wine. So you, uh, when you drink and you paint, you get your wine glasses encrusted in paint. So I'm gonna drink a little now. I'm trying not to drink until after I'm done. Oh, a little red wine. I love red wine. Okay. So I'm gonna get to tilting this guy. See what kind of surprises we have in store. Okay, interesting. I'm gonna hit this with a torch and see what I get. Break around the bottom here. I would really like to know your opinion of this. I wish you could tell me. Maybe I can get to a point where I can do a Facebook Live. That would be cool. So I'm just scraping underneath to get all these drips. I have a feeling this one is going to really change, but you never know, could be wrong. Okay. So interesting, I'm, I love the gold. I even like this blue with some of this red coming through. But I just wonder if there's something underneath there that might pop up later. I think I'm gonna tilt this a little more. Let it slide back that way. This really gets stretched, so. I'm gonna move this a little bit more towards center. A lot of stretching here and here. These are oddly shaped, but I don't know. Hi, Carol Berglund here. I invested in an airbrush. And looking at this, I was thinking maybe I should just blow some of this. It's kind of got that stretch blown look anyway. So I think I'm going to use my air gun on this. I'm going to start over here. Pretty cool looking. Okay. 
helpful. give my corners more of a little bit of a negative space. I'm new to this, so obviously <laughs> I need to be careful with this thing. a little better. Okay. Just trying to give it like a little frame around. Try swiping a little bit. This is the part where I think, did I make bad matters worse? I just didn't like some of those outer cells. They just didn't look right to me. So I came back and I dropped a couple of gold drops in the center and then I used my air brush and I blew it. I'm thinking I might just want to continue blowing this a little bit. sure if that was better or not. I got some dark spots here. I'll tilt this some more and get some new gloves. This might be one of those demonstrations where you really should have left well enough alone. <laughs> <clears throat> There's just something about it's not right to me. So. I think actually I'm going to do some swiping on it. Or not. It's where I blew it. Some of these little cells are coming up. I also got a little bit of the muddying. But I'm just going to blend a little bit. See what I get. That should sell back up.
get my airbrush and blow some more. Well, it made the colors darker. I think it got down and it got to that puddle of black underneath, which I think is good. It'll be interesting to see how this dries. You can see a lot of the little sails coming back up. This right here is blown down pretty close to the canvas and that was building up on it. I'll try to blow it back in, but again, I don't want to make bad matters worse. And I'm liking this better than what was there before. So good. I don't like it when I have a picture I don't really like. So I'm liking this better. I'm actually the black and the gold bringing up some of the green. I like that. And I've got a little bit of muddying here, but I've got enough pops of color all around. Yeah, I'm glad I did that. Okay, so I will bring you back and show you how this dries because I think I'm gonna leave this alone. And if it dries and don't like it, I'll pour over it again. Okay, thank you, I hope you enjoyed it. Hi, <clears throat> Carol Berglund with Carol's Art Creations here. So this is the dried results, and of course I used my airbrush. <clears throat> I held it at an angle, and I think I created a little extra splatter. As you can see right there, that black line. But this was interesting. I didn't care for it, so I used the airbrush on it. I like it better now that it's airbrushed. I'm still not crazy about this one. I don't know, maybe it will grow on me. I'm just kind of panning around so you can see, you can see the shine from my <coughs> window. Sorry about that. But it's interesting. I do like the shimmer of the gold on top. And I do like the really, right in here, this really dark, dark red and then some of the black underneath that showed through but it was interesting painting uh, maybe it will grow on me more tell me what you think about it uh, thank you bye-bye